Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is JJ and this is another pick a card. This is just a general pick a card. Um, but I am picking up here that someone's losing their patience and this is this has been coming up um, a lot in IG as well. And I feel like um, Spirit is saying, wait, okay, there's something new on the horizon that you're just not seeing right now. And Spirit is saying, you need to be patient, okay? You have planted well seeds and what you want will come your way. For some of you, I feel like there's a little bit of extra money coming your way as well. Um, there's a little bit of money. There's a little bit of financial, I don't want to say charity, but like maybe extra tips if you work on that or just a, some type of a gift coming your way. And for some of you, it's in regards to money. Okay, I am picking that up. For some of you, it um, a male is very important in your life right now. I feel like there might be a person that you are vibing with at this time. I feel like this is definitely a relationship worth exploring for some of you. Okay, I feel like this person might be a fire sign, might be an Aries individual okay so we have option one two and three like always these are general readings so take what resonates and leave the rest behind if something resonates great if it doesn't you know come back i do these um three times a week i believe sometimes more depending on my schedule but don't try to force something in your life if it doesn't fit you know just let it go it's fine not all readings are going to resonate if you want a personal reading my email for personal readings are always in the description box below um, i always put the timestamps there as well and my instagram okay <clears throat> let me see the cards that i am using are the sacred travelers by denise lynn i am using the angel answers by doreen virtue the Archangel Messages from by Doreen Virtue, the Life... Uh, no, I'm not using Life Purpose today. Um, the Psychic Tarot Oracle Card by John Holland. And my regular right away. So, they, I always get asked, so I want to say them. <clears throat> Let's see. So, I hope you pictured stack, and now we're ready. I want to pick stack number three. I'll pick stack number three. Let's see. But we're starting off with one. So we have the sun. Wow, look at that. You're starting off good. So you're feeling good. Maybe you've, you've been feeling a little bit sick like me. You know, your health is going to start improving. Your children might be important at this time as well. What the sun is basically success, okay? There's success. There is happiness. There is accomplishments. There's some type of victory coming your way. I feel like something that has been making you anxious, you're finally going to get like a, yes, you did a good job. I feel like someone here is like worried about a job or worried about... Uh, maybe not I don't know I see you worried about like you didn't do good enough or like yeah you just didn't do good enough and spirit is saying no that's not the truth something's gonna be revealed to you right now and you're gonna see that your fears were just in your head so some of your fears is in regards to a water sign okay maybe a cancer Pisces or Scorpio individual uh, maybe I'm for some of you I'm getting that this is a partner this is someone that you are in a relationship with <clears throat> and maybe you're anxious. Something about this person makes you anxious. For some of you, I'm hearing is a lack of trust and spirit is saying uh, it's all in your head. Maybe you were hurt in the past and you're, um, you're getting that, get the best of you in this relationship. And I feel like now you're going to start to see that this person really loves you and this person is not doing anything behind your back. Okay. For some of you, your emotions are, are healing okay because you're some of you get really trapped by your emotions you feel like you're drowning you feel like you can't move forward because your emotions uh, become too much for you to handle and i feel like you're finally making it out um okay you're starting to realize that behavior for some of you this is like i said a relationship okay or a contract with the water sign maybe you're in a partnership uh, maybe you're having an interview with the female water sign here and I feel like the interview will go fine. The relationship is fine. There's some worry here. There's some anxiety. And I feel like this anxiety, you're going to see that it was uncalled for. Okay? You're doing fine. You have the sun card here. I feel like this relationship, it's a good relationship. For some of you, I feel like maybe you're just barely going to meet this person. Sorry you could hear my neighbor's music. <laughs> you are safe yeah you felt there's something about this water sign person that you did not 
did not make you feel safe for some reason, okay? They did not make you feel like you couldn't trust this person or you couldn't open yourself up to love. I feel like now you can. This is not in regards to love. I feel like things in career and in, um, yeah, career and finances are going to be doing good, okay? The Spirit is telling you are safe. We're hearing you. We're protecting you. You are not alone. I feel like for some of you, if you're questioning if this is your soulmate, this is a yes, okay? Yeah, this is a yes. This person is your soulmate. If this person is a water sign or maybe has their Venus in water. Maybe a combination of Leo and water here, Okay mystic healer healing energy flows through you yeah i feel like some of you your emotions are finally healing and you're able to really love yourself okay before i feel like there was a lot of insecurities that were holding you back if this has nothing to do with a relationship i feel like you were your worst enemy at times and spirit is saying now you're able to heal that now you don't think like that now you're like you know what this is me i'm stepping out into the light and if people like me great and if they don't well they could move on. And we have the sun again. You have the sun twice. That is beautiful. You're feeling good. You're feeling confident. You're feeling sure of yourself. I also feel like for some of you, this new person is helping you heal your emotions. This person is like a healer in your life. This this could be a friend too. It doesn't have to be a lover. But if you were questioning about a love relationship, yes, this person is your soulmate. Definitely yes, okay? And I feel like better times, I feel like saying that better times are ahead. Um, also, I'm getting for some of you, this person, this, this partnership, this, uh, this could be a friend, this could be a colleague, uh, where you're working at a coworker, something like that. And I feel like this person is going to help you heal or help you see something in you. There's something that's definitely coming into the light it, that was keeping you kind of here in this nine of swords energy. And now you're going to be like, okay, you know what? I am safe. I am okay. What was I worried about? Okay, and you're going to be able to heal. There's something that's healing in your life and you're kind of regaining that childhood innocence, that passion, that confidence in yourself. Okay, so that was for option one. I'm really excited for you guys. Too bad I didn't pick this option, <laughs> but really good. I like that. Now for option two, if you picked option two, what do we have here? The queen of wands. Wow, a lot of fire energy today. We had the sun twice in the other one. Queen of Wands, you may be a Leo, may be dealing with the Leo, Sag, or Aries individual, or you're just a fiery person, okay? You like to get shit done. You like to, um, I just heard you like to entertain. So if you're hosting a party or, I don't know, I just heard you like to, you like to entertain. Wow, the Hierophant? And the page of wands. You know what this is looking to me? Some of you are, are being offered a promotion or an opportunity in a big corporation, in a big company. Some of you are going back to school to learn something new, something that you're passionate about. And I feel like you feel like you're the odd one out. I feel like you're like, I'm too old for this. I'm kind of getting that movie. What is the movie with that with that with that woman? I love her so much. Melissa McCarthy, I believe. I forgot her the new movie that she she goes back to school with her son or with her daughter here. So I'm I'm getting that energy of like either you're the mother and your son's heading off to university or your daughter's heading off to university. And I see like you're very excited. You're like this is something we've been wanting. This is something that we worked hard for, and you're finally seeing your son or your daughter kind of like take their own path, take their own route. For others of you, this is. Yeah, they're saying they're finally leaving the nest. I don't know. Okay, for some of you, I feel like this is, um, you're just being offered a, a good position in a job, okay? And also for some of you, I'm also hearing you're being offered like a promotion of some sort. For others of you, I'm also hearing you're being offered like a, what is it when the company gives you like, like an opportunity to get qualifications i don't know what's it called but i know they have a proper term i guess depending on every company but i'm getting like your company will will offer you some type of like okay we'll pay for your schooling or we'll pay for you to get this diploma or this extra qualification they're offering you like qualifications or certificates for you to kind of better yourself in the job okay that's what i'm picking up for others of you i feel like there's a lot of passion being reignited with the tourist sign this may be a, a 
partnership between a Taurus and a um, fire sign here. You may have a child with this person, but I feel like you guys are off to create something new, something beautiful, something passionate. I also feel like the passion will be reignited here, okay? Um, and I'm also getting here that some of you are in a teaching position. You're teaching people. You're teaching someone. For some of you, you're one of your students... One of your students. Okay, I wasn't going to say that. So some of you are definitely in a teaching position and there's something about one of your students. You're maybe having a trouble with this student or... Okay, I just heard the student is causing chaos. <coughs> I also feel like some of you are getting a passionate with the student. So if hopefully this is university, this is higher learning. So if it's higher learning, okay, that's fine. But um, hopefully it's between two adults, right? I am also getting here that for some of you, one of your one of your kids, son, particularly her son, um, is having trouble in school, in university or in high school. It feels like this person is a little bit in their teen, teens and higher, okay? And I feel like this this child is causing a little bit of a ruckus or is, there's, for some reason you're just being called to help this person right now at this time. Okay, that's what I'm getting. So I got a lot of messages there. So take what resonates. <laughs> Look at that. Indigo children. Yeah, your children. There's something about a child here. I feel like your child may be having um, difficulties learning too, difficulties Maybe they need to take special education or they need to uh, move to a different school that offers them uh, a specialized training for them, okay? I feel like you have a special child, an indigo child. Okay, as I knocked on wood, my camera shut completely off. So I don't know, <sighs> hopefully it's nothing bad, but as I said, hopefully it doesn't happen to my son. My computer just shut off. So I'm going to say, just pay attention to your kids, okay? I feel like your kid is going to come and tell you something that's going on at school. And if that's the case, please hear them out. Um, don't, don't be mean. Don't be like, this was your fault or you should have done this or you should have done that. Just be there for them. Show them love and support. Um, I feel like for some of you are definitely in the teaching realms because you have this bond with children and you're able to teach them. And I feel like you, you somehow attract children who have difficulties either fitting fitting in in class, fitting in in society or in school, or they have learning disabilities. Maybe you work with special ed children. Maybe you work with um with children who receive some type of therapy or something like that, okay, who have learning disabilities. But I'm getting that there's something big happening there so maybe you're offered a new position or maybe there's something going on in your work in regards to that for some of you this is in regards to your own children um i also feel like i have to say something i have to say your child is protected okay your child is not alone and i feel like this might be a situation where it involves three children here sorry i had to check if my mic was on i feel like See, I had to check. So I feel like you have, you're just worried about your child. Maybe you're worried and you just have to like check on them or, and spirits wanting me to tell you that your kid is fine. Your, your kids are fine. I don't know, but there's something about school, children, and a mother here. Either you being a teacher or, you know, just go back to the video. <laughs> so many, I can recall every message in the near future. So if you've been hoping or applying for university in the near future, you will get in. If you've been applying for a school, teaching, being a special education teacher, a coordinator of some sort, or just something about your children, whatever it is that you want, or you want the situation to end with the bullies or with people or your child just not fitting in or having difficulties, I feel like the situation will resolve in the near future for you and your child, okay? I see that, that also with the Queen of Wands is you're very active, you're very there, you're very very outspoken and you don't you don't um there's certain things that you don't tolerate when it comes to your children and I feel like spirit here is telling you um I'm getting emotional and I, and I I don't like it because I'm going through a personal situation like that with my child and they're saying like use your own personal situation someone will relate so I feel like you're very outspoken and maybe you're gonna have to kind of get up there in the in the 
maybe go to the district maybe you know speak to someone of higher position for this situation to end okay that's what i'm picking up here hopefully nobody's going through that because it's horrible to see your children get picked on and you're you're basically you can't do nothing just other than talk to to teachers and stuff like that so give me a second i need to center myself before i start crying here so if that's the case, you know, just know that your your prayers are being heard and your, your kids are protected, okay? And th the situation will resolve itself in the near future. Um, then we have opening up to spiritual source. So again, this is all about um, maybe your child will be opening up to you. Maybe you are opening up to a child or you're opening up to a whole new way of doing things or teaching or of learning or a whole new way of approaching children or children with disabilities. I feel like you have this new idea that you want to kind of bring into the table in regards to teaching. And I feel like our spirit is saying, you know, in the near future, I feel like your company is going to be interested in this. Okay. And also open up to spirit in the sense of like, you know, take some time to connect with spirit. I feel like they're really trying to connect with you, but you have your own walls up. And again, this is giving me that vibe of like, you're going to have to go up to, to someone in a higher position to talk about whatever the situation is at school. And they're saying, this is your second time around. You, you kind of have experience with this. This is not your first time around the situation. And then we have firm foundation. So the four of wands, the four of wands to me, it's all about, um, I do believe that's a four of wands. Is that the four of wands? Give me a second, you guys, because I, I picked up the Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands, if it's not, but I picked that up, I'm getting that the you're going to have a good resolution, okay? The Four of Wands is about celebration. It's about happiness, family, being together. So for some of you, um, you're happy, whether this is your son going to university or this situation resolving itself or you entering into a teaching program or um, whatever this is, is going to resolve in a good manner. Now, for others of you, I have to look really fast at the guidebook here because I don't remember if this is the... <clears throat> Let's see. This is the Four of Pentacles. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so they're saying heed the lesson heed the lesson like i said this is not your first time around that's what they were saying this is not their first time around they have experience with this they're saying okay what didn't work the last time what can you improve to make it work this time and they're saying that by you communicating also with your child or with the school system there is a great potential of things becoming better of having a solid foundation here And they're saying, you know, be flexible, be flexible. I don't lose your cool here. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that was the message for option two. Now let's go to option four. I mean, option three. Why did I say four? Okay. For option three, we have, this is the one I picked, page of swords. Okay. So a child, again, there's a child here. Maybe if... Uh, <coughs> Maybe a air sign, Libra, Gemini or Aquarius, sun, moon or rising child or a child who loves school, who loves asking questions, who loves, um, who is very curious, very outspoken, uh, very, a little harsh with their communication too. I'm getting, I'm getting like a Sag moon with this child. Like they're very outspoken. Okay. Or this is news, okay? There's some documents that need to be signed. There's something legal coming your way. There's legal news. There's news about something. This is a phone call I'm also hearing or a message, okay? Six of swords. So if you've been having difficulty with a child, if you've been having difficulty with a child, if this child has been feeling trapped, if this child has been feeling alone or just too much in their thoughts or you yourself have been confused or worried about this child, I feel like the situation is moving forward. Um... You're heading towards calmer waters here, okay? I feel like 
there is no reason for you to feel trapped here. I want to see what this other tarot, spiritual strength, the nine of wands. Yeah, I feel like this has been going for quite a long time, but it's just about to end with the nine of wands. It's just about to, to, I heard explode. It's just about to spill over, explode. I don't even know, but they're saying what it's doing. It's building character in this child or in this person, page of swords here. Okay. I am also getting that there is gossip going around for some of you. Um, maybe it's a, maybe if you're an air sign, this will resonate more because you're too much in your head here. You have swords, swords, and swords. Okay. You're too much in your head, um, too much in your thoughts and your ideas and spirit is saying, wait, you know, wait, go back to your spirituality, go back to your spirit with the wands here. I'm hearing <clears throat> for some of you, there's news coming your way. That's going to make you feel like you're like you have nowhere to turn. And spirit is saying, that's not the case. You're being, you know, what's interesting. I put it right underneath and this person is lifting something up and it's kind of like you're being lifted, lifted out of this situation. Like spirit is stepping in and kind of um, intervene for you here because this is something that you feel completely stuck completely anxious about completely you're you, you can't even see like you're so into like I, I have this like horse vision here where it's like all your focus is going to this particular situation whether this is gossip whether this is about this young page of swords person here but I'm getting like you're just focus and that and spirit is kind of like lifting you up out of the situation because they're saying you can't stay there you have to move forward and you're gonna be fine okay whatever the situation is you're moving to calmer waters you're entering a more peaceful time and i know it has been difficult here with the nine of wands you have been going um at it you know this has been one thing after the other with this child or with this person But spirit is saying, you know, it's it's okay. You're going to be okay. They're saying rely on your inner strength, okay? And they, they know you're tired. They know you're worried. You know, they know it's been a struggle. But now it's not the time to give in. It's not. They say keep pushing forward. They're kind of giving you a push. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah, just one final push and you'll be where you want to be. That is what I am hearing for you. Oh, excuse me a beloved one yeah so this is in regards to someone you love maybe there was harsh communication that was said maybe there's gossip maybe there is spying even for some of you um but i feel like you know they're helping you kind of heal this relationship issue they're helping you heal this person helping you get out of this toxic situation that you're in yeah, within the next few weeks. So do not worry. Within the next few weeks, you'll see a great improvement in this situation for you. And there you go. Clear the past and heal the present. Get more in touch with your emotions here because you're too much in your head. So you need to go back into your spirit and into your emotions. Okay? And I feel like that's how the answer or that's how you're going to make the connection with spirit here. Um, but whatever the situation is... For some of you, this is involving a um, a loved one, a soulmate, a, a, a partner, okay? It could be a soulmate. Remember, it could be everybody's different. Some people call them soulmates. Some people call them twin flames. It could be a kindred spirit. Someone you're, you're very close to could be a friend. It could be a male, too. I just heard a male. So, um... I feel like within a few few weeks, within the next few weeks, you're going to see a great improvement of you moving forward. Okay. And right now, it's because you're the nine is here. What I'm getting is that you're just going to enter this point where you're just going to be like, fuck this. And you're going to like, throw the towel out. You're going to be like, you know what? I can't do this. I feel stuck. I don't know what to do. And spirit is saying, keep pushing forward. Keep pushing forward. No matter how stuck you feel, keep pushing forward because in the next few weeks you will see a great improvement in your life okay i wish you guys the best take care of yourselves it was an honor blessings bye